Remember how to carry your shields. You're not hiding, you're holding. Otherwise, it's useless. Blackwall? Warden Blackwall? You're not. How do you know my name? Who said that? <laughs> That's it. Help or get out. We're dealing with these idiots first. Conscripts, here they come! Sorry, bastards. Good work, conscripts. Even if this shouldn't have happened, they could have... Well, thieves are made, not born. Take back what they stole. Go back to your families. You saved yourselves. You're no farmer. Why do you know my name? Who are you? I've been called a lot of things lately by a lot of people. Well, I'm talking to you. Stop dancing. We're Inquisition. Trying to find out why the Wardens disappeared and if it had anything to do with the Divine's murder. Maker's balls. The Wardens and the Divine. That can't... No, you're asking so you don't really know. First off, I didn't know they disappeared. But we do that, right? No more blight, job done. Wardens are the first thing forgotten. But one thing I'll tell you, no Warden killed the Divine. Our purpose isn't political. So where are the rest of you? I haven't seen any Wardens for months. I travel alone, recruiting. Not much interest because the Archdemon is a decade dead, and no need to conscript because there's no blight coming. Treaties give Wardens the right to take what we need, who we need. These idiots forced this fight, so I conscripted their victims. They had to do what I said, so I told them to stand. Next time, they won't need me. Grey Wardens can inspire, make you better than you think you are. Well, thank you, Warden Blackwall. But now where does this leave us? Inquisition. Agent, did you say? Hold a moment. The Divine is dead and the sky is torn. Events like these, thinking we're absent is almost as bad as thinking we're involved. If you're trying to put things right, maybe you need a Warden. Maybe you need me. The Inquisition needs all the support it can get. But what can one Grey Warden do? Save the fucking world if pressed. Look, maybe fighting demons from the sky isn't something I'm practiced at. But show me someone who is. And like I said, there are treaties. Maybe this isn't a blight, but it's bloody well a disaster. Some will honor them. Being a warden means something to a lot of people. Warden Blackpool, the Inquisition accepts your offer. Good to hear. We both need to know what's going on. And perhaps I've been keeping to myself for too long. This warden walks with the Inquisition. Make a look at it. So much easier to ignore when it's far away. And to actually walk out of it, to be that close. It's right there. We could take a trip if you're that curious. I'm gonna have to decline. At least until I learn more about it. I have to admit, I thought you'd be... Human? Yes. Do you object to my kind? 
Of course not. Didn't mean to offend. It's what you do and how you do it that's important. Just one question then. How do you think you fit in with all this? I just want to help stop the war. Try to put things back in order. A worthy goal, one I'm happy to support. For me, I'll be satisfied so long as we find the bastards that killed the Divine. They owe us some answers. You're oddly charming for a man I found wandering the forest. I always thought myself more odd than charming. But I'll take a compliment from a lady. They're hard to come by these days. Compliments or ladies? <laughs> Both. So, is there something large and heavy you need moved? That would be a waste of your particular talents. Oh, really? You're much better suited to standing in front of dragons while they try to eat you. I have to say, my lady, you're unlike any woman I've ever met. I'm flattered you'd spend any time with me. I enjoy your company. So, this is Skyhold. Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortifications. We'll be able to see Corypheus coming from miles away. He's not going to get the better of us again. We lost good soldiers that day, loyal men and women. And when he came after you, he really made it personal. I swear I'll take that twisted bastard down, even if I have to die to do it. I'm not losing anyone to Corypheus, especially not you. You can't afford to think I'm special. I'm a soldier no different than any soldier lost at Haven. I am fond of you, it's true, but we can't let this go any further. This, whatever you want this to be, is impossible. Why is it impossible? I know you have feelings for me. My lady, don't. You're the Inquisitor, the Herald of Andraste. Even now, there are people flocking to your banner, ready to serve, to die. We must remain focused on the task at hand. I'm not what they say I am. I never asked them to believe. But they do, and it's too late to go back. Whoever you were is gone. They believe you're the Herald because they need to. Without that hope, all that's left is despair. We're both bound by duty. Our lives aren't ours to live. Don't make this harder than it has to be. This, this is just, it's something to keep their hands busy. I'm grateful you tracked me down when you did. As exciting as wandering the woodlands was, this is better. It's good to be part of something so important. Something that could change things. I hope there's more than just the work keeping you here. Well, there's you, of course. The Inquisition is nothing without its herald. You are who you choose to follow. Someone told me that once. Took me years to understand what he meant. Certainly, who you follow defines who you are. It's not that complicated. We're not all blessed with your quick wit. Personally, I'm glad I have any wit at all. It was a chevalier who said those words to me. A powerful man, but never without honor. A true knight. We met as competitors in the Grand Tourney. He left me with that advice before we parted. Put aside his own ambitions to help me win the melee. I don't think I even thanked him. What is this Grand Tourney? You've never heard of it. The Grand Tourney of the Free Marches. 
It's a spectacle. Song, dance, wine, every amusement you can imagine. <laughs> but the greatest part is the contest of arms. Prove yourself in the Grand Tourney, and you can make your fortune. How did he help you? There were a hundred men on the field, each one fighting for himself. The Knight and I had forged an alliance. It was just the two of us, and we took all comers. The goal? Down as many opponents as possible. He always let me deliver the final blow. He must have wanted something from you to help like that. A pupil, a squire. Someone to teach and to mold. He saw my potential. When it was over, he offered to mentor me. To teach me to become a chevalier like him. And I, young and stupid, turned him down flat. I just won the melee at the Grand Tourney. I didn't need him. My life would have been very different if I'd followed him. I regret that. But now I believe I made the right decision after all. If your life had been different, we wouldn't have met? Nothing escapes your notice. Our paths may never have crossed if I'd gone with the old Chevalier. I could never regret this life. Not with you in it. I hope you can forgive me for pushing you away. If you think I'm just going to let it go, you're wrong. Still, I owe you an explanation. Who I am. What I am. Please, just meet me there. If it's important to you, then it's important to me. Thank you. It's so quiet now. I remember when it wasn't. I came here with another warden. We were ambushed. I tried to save him. But he died. That must have been hard on you. His death was different. It changed me. Let's go over there. Constable's badge. You must have lost it in the battle. How careless. How careless indeed. After all I did earn it, I shouldn't have let it go so easily. This was my life before I met you. Crumbling ruins. Endless battles. Death. You know, I see my fair share of ruins and death, too. Maybe that means we're perfect for each other. You tease. But there's nothing more for me here. But we can talk back at Skyhold and I... I have to think. <laughs> I knew you couldn't stay away. Uh, no, I couldn't. If only you knew how confounding you are. How impossibly infuriating. I wanted to thank you for accompanying me to that ruin. I wanted to. I just had to see you. No. This is wrong. I, I shouldn't even be here. What's the problem? A vow of celibacy? A dead wife? No, it's nothing like that. I'm not what you want. I could never be what you deserve. You're wrong. You're a good man. Am I? I see it. 
There's nothing I can offer you. You'd have no life with me. But I... I need you to end this. Because I can't. I'm not letting you go. We'll regret this, my lady. Do you regret that? Your wish, my lady. We need to discuss our relationship. Is something the matter? Someone I knew once described adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the Abyss. The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. None of the Wardens we saw wavered. They gave their lives willingly. They died for us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. And that's why he has to die. You'll get no argument from me. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. To want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you. They should have had your resolve, Blackwall. You've never faltered. You never will. Before the Inquisition, before you, I had the Wardens, the vow I made to them. Before that vow, I had nothing. Was nothing. It's not the armor or the trappings of the Order. It's not the... joining. At the heart of it, all a Warden is, is a promise. To protect others, even at the cost of your own life. Don't I know you from somewhere? Ah. Huh. Lord Rudal de Langue, I've seen you in his company before, no? I don't think we've met, my lord. I'm just a Grey Warden. A Grey Warden? Odd. Your face is so familiar. Around the eyes, especially. Uh, perhaps without that beard? More wine. It will come to me. I'm ready for anything. Just give the word. Make sure you save at least one dance for me. There are at least a dozen young lords and ladies hoping for some time with the hero of the night. Yet, here you are. Alone. Care to share your thoughts? No complaints? Everything worked according to plan. You saved Olay. You have earned some time for yourself. The band still plays. Might I have this dance, Lady Adar? I'd like that. I didn't know you danced. I did once, in another life. Want to drink? I've a hankering for company. <sighs> you are brooding. I am not. I like brooding. I was thinking about when we went to the ruin, when we found the badge. 
Everything seemed clear then. Like I could do anything with you at my side. Anything. That's a hard word, you know. Means a lot. You mean a lot. Let's get out of here. You need to know that I'm not worthy of you. There's no future for us with me as a warden. You don't know tomorrow any better than I do. One moment at a time. Then for now, let there be nothing else. No one else. Just you and me. Cyril Mornay, for your crimes against the Empire of Orlais. For the murders of General Vincent Callier, Lady Lorette Callier, their four children and their retainers, you are sentenced to be hanged from the neck until dead. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Very well. This is grim. Proceed. Stop! A Grey Warden. This man is innocent of the crimes laid before him. Orders were given and he followed them like any good soldier. He should not die for that mistake. Then find me the man who gave the order. Blackwall! No, I am not Blackwall. I never was Blackwall. Warden Blackwall is dead, and has been for years. I assumed his name to hide like a coward from who I really am. You, after all this time. It's over. I'm done hiding. I gave the order. The crime is mine. I am Tom Rainier. I didn't take Blackwall's life. I traded his death. He wanted me for the Wardens, but there was an ambush. Darkspawn. He was killed. I took his name to stop the world from losing a good man. But a good man, the man he was, wouldn't have let another die in his place. So you thought you would just die and disappear? That I wouldn't find you? I didn't want you to see me like this. I'm here now. Deal with me. 
Don't you understand? I gave the order to kill Lord Callier, his entourage, and I lied to my men about what they were doing. When it came to light, I ran. Those men, my men, paid for my treason while I was pretending to be a better man. This is what I am. A murderer, a traitor, a monster. Wouldn't you be happier thinking I was a nobleman, a Grey Warden? Instead of this, I would have saved you the pain of learning that all you knew about me was a lie. That you loved a lie. Maker. Sure do know how to pick them. Liliana's report on Tom Rainier. Let me guess. Our spy master had this lying around somewhere, didn't she? It would have been difficult for anyone to connect Blackwall to Rainier. Even Liliana has something of a blind spot when it comes to wardens. <sighs> what do we do now? Black Wa Renier has accepted his fate, but you don't have to. We have resources. If he's released to us, you may pass judgment on him yourself. Have Rainier released to us. We must move quickly. We can explore our options back at Skyhold. For judgment this day, Inquisitor, I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Blackwall. His crimes... Well, you are aware of his crimes. The decision of what to do with him is yours. Don't think I've saved you. Your life belongs to me. Whatever you paid, it wasn't worth it. Using your ties to the Underworld to free me. You're a criminal, same as me. The world will learn how you've used your influence. They'll know the Inquisition is corrupt. Your opinions will no longer be considered. You've lost that privilege. I decide what becomes of you now. And what becomes of me? You have your freedom. It cannot be as simple as that. It isn't. You're free to atone as the man you are, not the traitor you thought you were or the warden you pretended to be. It will take time. You would accept that? And what I used to be? I lied about who I was, but I never lied about what I felt. No matter what I was or what becomes of me, Right now, I'm just a man with his heart laid bare. I leave it in your hands. You were ready to die, but I wasn't ready to let you go. Your place is here with me. I don't know how to be with you as Tom Rainier. You said you didn't lie about how you felt. Go with that. As you wish.
Rin Olay has claimed too many lives. I pray that it's over for good. We need to discuss our relationship. As you wish. What do you think will happen to us after all this? A house? A dog? Do you think that mark of yours could be used for cooking eggs? Or we could just continue as we are. No eggs necessary. As long as you're by my side, I don't care what happens. My Lady Inquisitor, leaving your own celebration so soon. We've been through a lot, haven't we? I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Rainwall? Black Rain? <laughs> I deserve that. And even after everything I've done, we're still here. Together. But what have I done to deserve this smile? <laughs> 